What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Brothers, you know, I really, in this point of my content creation career, I don't really like talking about, you know, sisters and going too hard on them, you know, maybe like before, because I, again, I think it's like beating a dead horse. And um, I think that, you know, it's not going to help no goddamn way. Uh, they're going to continue to go ahead on and dust it up and, and you know, do what they're going to do, which is fine because some of these, you know, these young ladies, as long as they stay away from me, well, my ugly, ass, I don't give a damn what they do. Long as they leave me alone, I don't care. So thank God for Jesus. I'm over here in Africa. I ain't got to deal with their ass no way. But I did see something from this sister, Akbar V. Uh, this is a young sister who is, you know, she have her little fuse with Cardi B saying crazy stuff. But, um, you know, she has five kids. Okay. Five kids live in Atlanta, rough childhood, five kids. I got this clip of this sister. She has her young son in the background. And guys, you will not believe uh, what she's saying. She put this on social media. I'm going to play this and I'm going to come back. You know this mother take three yahoos. He take three yahoos, y'all. Them yahoo milk, them chocolate milk. He took three all this morning and he got a Coca Cola and a Dr. Pepper like he finna go feed the little big girl that he go with. He take three yahoos, a Dr. Pepper, and a Coca Cola. I don't get no goddamn food stamp. This is out of my money. They don't bring his ass no milk. Ain't that much thirst in the f world. What happened, he took, man, he took three yahoos, Coca Cola, and a Dr. Pepper. That's five fucking drinks. You must got a fat girlfriend. Now, let me say this. And, and, and although I'm not in the manosphere um, anymore, I'm still very pro um, black male and my content strategy. And um, and I want to say that when I was growing up in the 80s and the 90s, and when your mama talked to you like this, it was normal. Now, my mama really didn't do all like that kind of talk. But my grandma was like that. And um, my great aunts and stuff. This is how they communicated to young black men for no reason. Just, you know, something that was stupid, you know. He's drinking too many yoo-hoos or sodas. I mean, the young man's not doing nothing. He's just being a kid. And you're yelling at him and giving him a negative experience. And not only are you doing that, you're posting it for the whole entire world to see. Which not only does it embarrass you as a woman, it embarrasses the community. Now, Nicki Minaj, if that's a black man doing that and it's a girl, she's going to have a problem with it. But you're not gonna hear Nicki Minaj saying anything about this or any of the other sisters say anything about this because when it comes to young black boys, you know, it's okay to talk to them like they're worthless, like they're nothing, like they don't matter. And these are the kind of young men, I'm gonna tell you when these young men come up broken in black America, now we don't wanna have a conversation about why they broke. We don't wanna have a conversation about why nobody take them seriously. We don't want to talk about that because if we do, then y'all are going to get mad because, you know, black women ain't doing what, you know, they're perfect. And listen, I'm here to say that, you know, all women don't do this. And I understand that. Kudos to the ladies who don't do this. Let's have a conversation, however, about the women who are doing this. And my question is, do you have no level of self-control over yourself? Do you have no level of self-control over yourself to where you can as a woman say you know what let me not talk to my son like he's an idiot let me not talk to my son like he's stupid let me at least have some level of respect not only for him if he's drinking too many yoo-hoo's or whatever let me talk to him like he i, I got some sense because here's what's gonna happen he gonna grow up and talk to his kids like that and then do the same thing his mama doing now the thing is once he get out in front of some guys and he does that he might get disciplined. See, this is what y'all don't want to talk about. You see, this is what y'all don't want to talk about. And these young black men come up broken, crazy, like all the time. They come, they get broken down and can't nobody do nothing with them. The black community can't do nothing with them. 
and we sit there idly by like we don't know what's going on and, and we do we do we know these young kids are messed up we know they jacked up and we know who did it and when they come back and they can't be competitive they can't do nothing they can't achieve they no good for women they no good because they're broken i'm gonna tell you stuff like that and what you see they mama helped they mama helped break them but then we'll sit back and be like, oh, these black men don't take care of these black women. You see how disrespectful they are? You see they got all these mama issues? Well, okay, if your mama talked to you like that, wouldn't you have some mommy issues too? Wouldn't you be abnormal? Wouldn't you be messed up? Wouldn't you be jacked up? If your mama talked to you like you didn't have no goddamn sense, wouldn't you feel somewhat like that, you see? And for these young black boys coming up to gonna be somebody's husband, they got to have some level of under, we got to undergird them in some level of love. If you want these young black men to be builders, if you want these young black men to be taking care of these uh, women out here, can, is it safe to say that you can't be talking to them like they're goddamn stupid? Is that safe to say that you got to have some level of love for them? Is that safe to say that the mama who out here doing whatever she want because she ain't got no respect for the son or his daddy, that he needs to get it together is that safe to say or do they not deserve that do these young black men that y'all criticize and say that ain't about nothing do they not deserve that i want to know please tell me why don't they deserve anything when these young black men cannot be productive why are they not given the opportunity and it's sad give them the opportunity have some respect for them because y'all would never let no, no uh, you know a uh, 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 black man talk to his daughter like that oh no he be in he be underneath the jail y'all be calling child protective services she got five kids that i'm pretty sure she talked to most if not all like that with some level of buffoonery then you wonder why these kids be messed up then you wonder why when they go to school they got problems these kids be crying these kids scared to go home then we but 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 if he becomes successful oh and then you know what happens a lot of these kids end up loving their own loving their mama okay they end up loving their mama so much and their mama don't even do nothing for them but terrorize them their whole life then they just want to have a mama to love so much mama i love you but but, but your mama then abused you see you don't even know how messed up you be you don't even know how messed up you are until you, you you get around some folks and be like damn this is not even cool this is this is not even whoa wait a minute it's crazy so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk pretty far you do scared the bell we're out